Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about the important MCQs on research methodology. So let's get started. First question is an image, perception or concept that is capable of measurement is called Option A. Scale Option B. Hypothesis Option C. Type Option D. Variable The correct answer is Option D. Variable An image, perception or concept that is capable of measurement is called variable. Next question. In order to pursue the research, which of the following is priorly required? Options are developing a research design, formulating a research question, deciding about the data analysis procedure, formulating a research hypothesis. Correct answer is option B, formulating a research question. In order to pursue the research, the priorly required step is formulating a research question. Question number 3. What are the conditions in which type 1 error occurs? Option A. The null hypothesis get accepted even if it is false. Option B. The null hypothesis get rejected even if it is true. Option C. Both the null hypothesis as well as alternative hypothesis are rejected. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. The null hypothesis get rejected even if it is true. This is the condition for type 1 error. In option A, the null hypothesis get accepted even if it is false is the condition for type 2 error. It means if the question is about type 2 error, then the option A will be the correct answer. Question 4. How to judge the depth of any research? Option A. By research title. Option B. By research duration. Option C. By research objectives. Option D. By total expenditure on research. Correct answer is option C. By research objectives. The depth of any research can be judged by research objectives. Next question. Which of the following is not the method of research? Option A. Survey. Option B. Historical. Option C. Observation. Option D. Philosophical. As we know, survey, historical and philosophical are the methods of research. Hence, the correct answer should be Option C. Observation. Question number 6. Research is the options are searching again and again, finding solution to any problem, working in a scientific way to search for truth of any problem, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, working in a scientific way to search for truth of any problem. This is known as research. Question number 7. In the process of conducting research, formulation of hypothesis is followed by Option A. Statement of objectives Option B. Analysis of data Option C. Selection of research tools and Option D. Collection of data Correct answer is Option C. Selection of research tools Formulation of hypothesis is followed by Selection of research tools Next question the main objective of dash study is to acquire knowledge. Options are exploratory, descriptive, diagnostic, descriptive and diagnostic. The correct answer is option B, descriptive. The main objective of descriptive study is to acquire knowledge. Question number 9 is concerned with discovering and testing certain variables 
with respect to their association or dissociation the options are exploratory descriptive descriptive and diagnostic and diagnostic the correct answer is option d diagnostic diagnostic is concerned with discovering and testing certain variables with respect to their association or disassociation question number 10 one of the terms given below is defined as a bundle of meanings or characteristics associated with certain events objects conditions situations and the like the options are option a construct option b concept option c definition and option d variable correct answer is option b concept next question concepts are of research the options are guide tools methods and variables the correct answer is option b tools concepts are tools of research question 12 concept is of two types the options are option a abstract and coherent option b concrete and coherent option c abstract and concrete option d none of the above the correct answer is option c abstract and concrete concepts is of two types that is abstract and concrete concept next question a statement of the quantitative research question should option a extend the statement of purpose by specifying exactly the questions the researcher will address option b help the research in selecting appropriate participants research methods measures and materials option c specify the variables of interest option d all the above the correct answer is all the above question number 14 why do you need to review the existing literature the options are option a to make sure you have a long list of references option b because without it you could never reach the requested word count option c to find out what is already known about your area of interest and option d to help in your general studying here option a b and d are not appropriate and does not make any sense here so the correct answer should be option c to find out what is already known about your area of interest hence to know what is already done in our research area we need to review the existing literature last question what do you mean by unit of analysis option a main parameter option b variables option c sample option d constructs the correct answer is option a main parameter thanks for watching if you find this video useful then please like and share the video and for more update please subscribe to my channel thank you